Hi, this is Scott with Zip. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between the 188 hubs and the 182 hubs, specifically uh, switching from Campagnolo drivetrain to SRAM or Shimano drivetrain. So we'll start with uh, the less complicated 182 hubs. Uh, we used these from 2006 through roughly 2008. And to switch from a uh, Campagnolo, which is almost always a blue freehub body that's anodized, kind of this pretty blue color, uh, to a Shimano is pretty straightforward. You'll take two five millimeter Allen keys, turn them opposite of each other, then you can unthread the non-drive side, uh, take that, set that down. It'll come off with the carbon fiber dust cap. From there, you'll push the axle through the drive side, and that will remove uh, your axle and the freehub body from the wheel. Uh, what you want to take care of is making sure that you don't lose your quarter millimeter shim that sits in between the freehub body bearing and the hub shell bearing. If you lose this little shim, your bearings will bind and your hubs will not work properly. So you will want to make sure you hang on to that. Um, so to switch from Campagnolo to Shimano, just go ahead and repeat the process. Insert your five millimeter Allen keys unthread the non-drive side and really what you're switching over for the 182 hub is really just the free hub body so then you would just take swap the free hub bodies you can buy the free hub bodies online they come with bearings paul paul spring everything you need to swap it over insert it through the drive side now, I should make a note, if you're switching to Camping Yellow and you're using uh, their 11-speed drivetrain, you will need an extra shim, so a total of two shims. So let's say we're switching this to Campy 11-speed. You'll use a quarter, uh, uh, two quarter millimeter shims. Insert it back through your freehub body. From there, reinsert the axle into the hub shell. Squeeze all the paws to insert them into the ratchet ring. And then thread on your non-drive side dust cap. From there you'll want to apply a light amount of torque with your five millimeter Allen keys. Just enough to snug them down. So that is the 182 hub switching from Camping Yellow to SRAM or SRAM to Camping Yellow. Now starting in 2009 we uh, designed the 188 hubs that are absolutely fantastic. You can uh, use a heavy grease. Uh, they're very durable, uh, very suitable for cyclocross and rainy day riding. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about switching from Camping Yellow to SRAM or Shimano on the 188 hubs. So the first thing you'll do with these is remove, there's a non-drive side end cap. Uh, the SRAM Shimano versions are anodized red and they have an O-ring that they just pull out. If, uh, if it's stuck in really good, uh, you just want to lightly work it back and forth. You can use a flathead screwdriver, you just don't want to you know, mar it, so be careful there. Now on this airfoil nut, there is a small bolt. Loosen it with a two millimeter Allen key. So you don't need to completely remove it, just back it off enough to um, unthread it. The axle is threaded. Once that nut is loosened up a little bit, you can just pull it off. So unthread, unthread, unthread. Then your axle nut just comes right off. Push the uh, axle actually will push all the way through. Now the first thing you'll notice comparing this to the 182 is uh, the heavy grease. Um, and that is because it's a heavier duty Paul and Paul spring system. So once you push that out, you want to remove uh, the non-drive side um, uh, seal. This has a raised lip and it's different on uh, the SRAM or the Campy version. So once you're down to the bare hub and axle, pull the axle out, remove cassette body shield on the SRAM version. And then you'll be left with, you know, your wheel and, you know, uh, your axle separate. From there, the conversion kit has a few different pieces. It has uh, blue anodized end caps, which remove the same way as the SRAM Shimano version. It has a blue free hub body and a blue free hub body shield.
so you'll repeat the process or if you're ordering a kit you won't have to disassemble two hubs so move your axle nut your labyrinth seal now on all of the 188s they will have two um, quarter millimeter shims so you want to make sure that you use two when switching to Campy or one when uh, switching to SRAM or Shimano. So it's important that you don't just switch the, um, uh, the uh, cassette body. You also need to switch the little parts. So basically anything that you'll get that's anodized blue, you need to switch over from uh, the red version to the blue. So if you're switching to Campy, uh, make sure uh, the concave uh, side uh, is towards the outside of the axle. You can always tell because we've got these little raised lips. The raised lips serve to, uh, to preload your bearings, so you want to make sure you're using those when switching uh, free hub bodies. Just slide free hub body over the axle, have your shield covering the bearings to protect them there. You can actually grease those if you want as well. After that, switching to Campy, you'll use the first quarter millimeter shim, and then the second. Insert the axle back into the hub shell. And once you get to uh, the paws, you'll see it won't want to insert. So you'll just squeeze all three paws if you do it just right, you can just slide them into the ratchet ring. From there, you'll take your labyrinth seal. The labyrinth seal is going to be red for uh, SRAM, Shimano, or Campy drivetrain, but you will want to make sure that the raised lip uh, is facing the bearing. So go ahead and insert that. Take your airfoil axle nut, thread it back onto your axle. Now, wait to secure your pinch bolt until you get your skewer pressure in place, but pop in uh, your blue uh, for camping yellow axle end cap, uh, insert it into the bike, uh, dial in uh, your preload with your axle end nut, secure it with your two millimeter Allen key, and you're good to go.